he's going to gun down baddies from the sky. Like some vast predatory bird. <laughs>
you have to press in hard. At first I thought these were actually a little too big. So yeah, you're gonna have him do it like a strafing run. There really is no landing gear, but the best you can do is flip out the gun handle here. So it kind of sits level like that. Size comparisons with other planes and ships from Transformers. Unite Warrior Skylynx. And Combiner Wars Thundercracker. Now for transformation. You can flip these fins and rotate these thrusters for a different airplane look. That's rather nifty, you th I think. That's a rather nifty thing you could do. Kind of looks more like a futuristic earth plane now. You could also do this to have some sort of alternative plane mode. Okay, onto the robot mode. First, detach the gun and the panels on it. You could leave the guns out like this so you can flip them around. Although that does expose the rather ugly hollow bits on the, each side of the gun, so if you don't want that to be showing outward, you have to swap them. Flip out the legs. Flip down the feet. Split the legs. Fold those in and Turn those around and tab them in here. Flip those fins forward. Flip down the chest. Fold down the arms. And then flip these forward. Turn those wrists. And then fold those panels and Plug that gun into this square rectangular tab. And there's Sky Gunner. Sky Gunner is very tall and lanky. Because look at those legs, they're quite thin. You have these tiny little black shins and these long legs and some thin knees, cockpit feet. You can kind of make out the seats, so I guess you, I guess in theory, if you had a tiny enough little figure, you could fit two people in there. And his hands are thruster hands, thrusters in the front, much like Unite Warriors Blast Off. It's a bit of a shame they don't have any, any holes in here to plug anything in front of here. That would have ex added an extra layer of playability like this. The chest looks pretty good. The traditional spaceship cockpit as the front. And the two little cockpits on each shoulder. And a big gun sticking out like that. One thing that kind of nitpicky is... The wings really break the flow of the silhouette of this Sky Gunner. You could spread them out like that, but then you can see all the little greebling underneath. I guess I wish these wings had one more hinge so that they could fold in like this and thus keep the flow, keep the like the this general shape instead of abruptly breaking like that, especially from the back view. But it is what it is. Looking at the head, it's primarily silver with some yellow sides and a blue forehead crest. You can get some, kind of get some nice light green light piping out of the piping on the top of his head. And what's kind of neat is that this little panel here kind of auto-transforms when you do this. Part of me wishes that this was separate so he could flip this over his face like a HUD, but that's just me. As I pointed out, you can plug the guns in either hand or on the top ports here. 
And you can take this big gun, flip out the handle, and plug it in here. And you have to push in these panels just right. And now Sky Gunner has a triple threat cannon. Although I'm kind of worried about the durability of these panels. They're a little thin and flimsy. Now for Sky Gunner's articulation. He has a ball socketed head. I haven't seen that in any new Hello Carbot figure for a while, so that's very nice to see a ball socketed head. Legs go forward that much, back that much, do the splits that much. Very big bend. You could flip out these so for an extra transforming joint. As you can see, these are the these click hinges are only held by these two very visible panels. I think those could break if someone is not careful. Careful. The arms, full 360 at the shoulders. Inward and outward. Wrist swivel. And what's this? Bicep swivel? A modern Korean robot toy with both bicep swivels and thigh swivels and not one or the other? I am very pleased and very happy. Although they do have a limit, which is natural. It's good to have a limit on the bicep swivels. But yay, bicep swivels! Size comparisons. Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Combiner Wars Thundercracker. Classics Platinum Edition Optimus Prime. And Blast Off. Sky Gunners between Voyager and Leader as usual for slightly than smaller carbots. We've seen plenty of Space Jet Transformers before, but I think Sky Gunner is pretty unique enough to stand out. And with a great jet mode and a pretty good robot mode, I would highly recommend Sky Gunner. And I think his aesthetic is pretty much like a Transformer, so he would not stand out much at all from your Transformers collection if you have one. And a question out to Transformers fans, what Transformers character could Sky Gunner be customized into? Thank you for watching this review. Please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing for more content like this from Korea. And this is KR Brickbot signing off.